Hey guys. So, my boss texted me and said tomorrow I can cancel the sausage. I know, you're probably, you're thinking like, what? What? Well, my boss is uh, really, really bad at texting and writing notes and just communicating in general. But her text was, let me pull it up here. Uh, okay, so at first she texted me earlier today because she said that my roommate wants to, me to check her fireplace heater, make sure it's off. Uh, so my, uh, it's off. And then she just texted me 626. They just emailed, only shipping and upfront running tomorrow. Can you cancel sausage in morning? And then she replies back with Scusa, obviously. But I was like, cancel sausage? Why would you want to cancel sausage in the morning? Got some eggs, you get some bacon. I mean, great breakfast right there. Why would you want to cancel sausage? Make sausage great again. Um, then I said, okie dokie, thanks for letting me know. See you on Monday. She said, okay, have a good weekend. Enjoy that sausage. So, I mean, great, you know, you know, three day weekend, but we were doing so well, you know, doing so well with this working on Friday thing. You know, even though I don't like going into work anymore, I kind of have to, I kind of need the money. I've got like $300 left. I've got rent coming up, which is 250. I've got like, you know, 20 something dollars a week just for SCUSA alone. That's almost, you know, almost a hundred dollars a month I'm paying them. Where am I gonna get money from? People are wondering, I'm sure most of you guys are wondering how much I actually get from um, YouTube. Trust me, it's nothing. It takes me about three months just to make a hundred dollars. So I'm not getting anything from YouTube. So it's not like I have that to rely on. <clears throat> uh, February is tax, you know, taxes and all that, but I've only been working since August, so I'm going to get like maybe a hundred dollars back or something, which really not anything. So I wish I could just be a big YouTube channel and just, you know, be able to work, but not have to worry so much about working my ass off and destroying my body. Cause I know I've got other income. No, not going to happen. Not anytime soon. And since I'll probably be dead by 40, it's not going to happen at all in my life. Um, at this point, I don't even want to live to 40. John, why would you say that? Because it's true. I don't want to live till 40. Um, but yeah, I don't have to work tomorrow. So three day weekend, I was gonna go out and get some stuff, but then I remember I only have like $300 and I can't afford to spend anything right now. So, I have like soups down there, like tomato and actually just tomato. So that's gonna have to feed me for the next couple days or so. So, story of my life. But yeah, I can. I canceled sausage. I uh, I called up like, hey, can you cancel that sausage? I really like it. It's great with breakfast, but uh, you know, we just we're just doing bacon right now. <laughs> no. Um, also, now there's like fucking, let's see, Venti, Meowzy, and then there's that white cat who I thought was Venti at first, but it's not. And then I saw another cat before that looked like Meowzy, but it's not. And then there's a black cat. So there's like five fucking cats coming over here. Plus the possibility of that raccoon coming up every once in a while. No wonder why the food's disappearing so fucking quickly. There's five fucking cats eating it. And the possible raccoon. I saw the black cat outside. I thought Sam had gotten outside. But I was like... And there he is behind the curtain. You know, sitting on the windowsill. I'm like... 
okay, I don't know how he would have gotten outside anyway. No one's been out there. I'm like, did he find some secret way to sneak out? Is, does he know how to open doors now? Um, no, I haven't seen... Was it yesterday? Yeah, I came home yesterday, and Venti was here along with that white cat, and they, they got into a, you know, tuffle, scuffle, and uh, Venti bolted across, you know, his way, and the cat went that way, and I'm like, well, at least I know who's fighting with now, because he's got, like, this big, you know, you know, on his, by his ear. Um, he also has, like, this on his neck, you know, like, it's starting to scab over. I'm like, well, now I know who he's been fighting with. But he jolted over there to his side, and uh, I haven't seen him since yesterday. He, he hasn't been over today, so I think what happens is, like, he'll get into a fight, get depressed for, like, two, three days, and then he'll come back. So I noticed, like, the last time he did that, he didn't have any wounds on him. And then when he came over, I felt the one on his neck. So it's like, he'll get into a fight, disappear for like two days, and then he'll come back. So he'll probably be around tomorrow. So I saw him when I got home from work. And then pretty much right after that, he took off. I mean, he took off like I've never seen him actually run like that. So he'll probably be around here later on uh, tomorrow. But now I know who's getting uh, into fights with. Uh, but it actually could be any one of the other cats. I know it's not Meowzy, because she's just a delicate little thing. She's afraid of everyone. I mean, he smacks her, like... But not like a kind of thing. Uh, so I don't think he means anything. I think he's more just playing with her. But he does do it when she's trying to eat, so. But they do also like trying to play with each other at the weirdest times, so. I mean, like I said, he doesn't really go after her after her. He just kind of smacks her. And then she'll run off and then he'll chase after her, but like not viciously. It's not like he attacks like he did to the other cat. No, he just kind of runs after her and she'll run off and he'll just stand there. So I think with her, she's just he's just trying to play. But I don't know anything about the other cats. So I don't... All I know is that the, the, the white cat, I saw him physically get into a confrontation, so... But yeah, there's like the... It's like this freaking big, just like circular over on his... Uh, by his ear. And I'm like, good thing it's scabbing over. <laughs> I'm sure being cold outside is helping... It, you know, clot and everything a lot faster. But, um... That's the one thing about outside cats. They'll get hurt like crazy. You know, Bam, he had part of his tail bitten off by the, um... the dogs across the street. They damaged his nerves and his face enough to where his teeth started to rot and fall out. So, I mean, <laughs> crazy shit can happen. You know... But animals are, they can survive, really, a lot of things. I mean, apart from being hit by cars, at least. But they can, like, there's this one video I've seen with this deer. Like, most of its back is completely gone. When it walks, you can see its shoulder blade coming out. I mean, this thing is, like, missing a huge portion of its back. Meat, f you know, flesh, just gone. And this thing is just, like, <laughs> if it's walking around with no problem. So animals just, they can fucking survive a whole lot of shit. I mean, just look at humans. We can survive having our fucking faces blown off. We can survive sliced in half. So. The body is a weird thing. It really is. Actually, let me see if I can find I probably can't show it. But I want to see if I can find it. So that way, you can I can link it at least. So, hang on. Okay, I found it. I'll leave that below if you want to see what I'm talking about. Crazy video. I mean, it's it's short, uh, but it just shows the kind of stuff that, you know, animals can survive. And it's fucking crazy. <clears throat> but, yeah. So I'll probably see Venti tomorrow. <laughs> you know. It's funny, though.
It really was. They they got into a fight. I went out there to break them up. And Venti bolted across the street back to I guess where he lives. Like I said, he has an owner, I think. And I think it's the the family that lives across the street. There's the the people on the end, right over there. There's the the, the white the, there's the white woman I see all the time. And then next to them, I think lives a black family, and I think it's theirs. Because if I remember, I saw Venti or who I think is Venti, oh, like a several months ago or a year ago he was just kind of chilling on the end of the street i was you know petting him and all that and you know they said something about uh hey he's touching your cat or something it was they were talking to a little black girl so i think it's theirs but but i mean he, i think he might have grown a winter coat because when i was petting him and when i saw him the first time he didn't have the, that kind of coat so it might he just might have grown the winter coat, but but even then the the, the winter, they shouldn't sprout out like that. Like he was very fine fur, you know, very short, and even winter coat doesn't just, you know like that. Um, but maybe it was a lot longer than I remember. Um, I don't remember. Maybe I saw something with the eye, and I recognized that. So it might have been the same cat. I mean, what are the odds of there being two flame points in the same area? Flame points alone are rare enough as it is. So, but uh, yeah, I think he belongs to the, the black family that's over there. I don't know him. I don't talk to them. I really don't talk to anyone around here apart from the guy across the street uh, who has Blue and Eli. The, the dogs, I said, like, Eli will try to come across the street. I'm like, Eli. Yeah, he's like the only one I talk to. So, he's cool. But, um, yeah, Venti took off. Uh, the food's just been, I filled it up today and really hasn't disappeared, which means Meowzy really hasn't even been up here. So, most of the time I think she just stays under the house. Probably, like I said, it's probably safe under there for her. Um, anyways. So yeah, I'm going to leave that link below if you guys are curious to see it. Um, it's crazy. <laughs> what, it's crazy what the body is capable of doing. But um, moral of the story, sausage is canceled. Anyways, you guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.